but you decided to put Nani Dhaliwal on strike, knowing what he did in the third over against Ali Khan, knowing that Ali Khan was probably going to bowl that super over. Was that what went into the mindset in, in designating Navneet to go on strike instead of Rizwan? Uh, it had something to do with it. I think uh, it's just the type of balls we knew, we knew Ali was going to go for the Yorkers. Um, and uh, Navi was playing it pretty well. Um, it was a bit of a risk because Riz was hitting them well as well. But uh, that decision was made by them too, not not me. But I, I would have had a certain. I actually, I would have had a similar thought process. So, I mean, at that stage, you have one guy that's just hit the winning or tied the game, and you have another guy that's done really well. So you let them make the decision. Um, I would have done the same thing, but it was the two boys in the middle that made that decision. So, I actually, yeah, um, uh, I told Navi. I'm pretty drained out and you're fresh, so why not? And you're hitting well, so you know you have a better chance to hit few good boundaries. So amazing, I was actually, um, he, he came to me and he said, what a decision. I said, uh, but this is how it should be. You're fresh and you're hitting really well. The way you hit Ali Han in the first over is amazing. And why not? You deserve this strike. So he did it. Just taking you back all the way to the start of the match, at the toss, knowing that it's, it's a wearing pitch, it's the fourth match played on this wicket, losing the toss, you looked, I saw your reaction, you weren't thrilled, it looked like, and even though it wasn't a high scoring game, it was a challenging total, did you feel at the innings break like that was too much to chase or, or no? Um, I think we, at the innings break, I knew we gave 10, 10 runs too much, I didn't think it was too much to chase, but we knew Playing second, a lot of we played a lot. One, the first game we played was the second game, and it was already turning on on the wicket, and it was slow. Um, today, I think it got a little bit worse. So we knew it was going to be tough, but we knew if we got a good power play, it'll be all right. And we're going to lose wickets here and there on tough wickets, but it was important that we were still positive and trying to trying to hit the ball. And I think that's that's what we're good at. We're skillful. We have a skillful batting lineup. So, that, but it was going to be tough because it did slow down. I know when I was batting and the guys were going cutters, it was tough. Um, my reaction at the toss was because I think I've lost 20 tosses in a row or something like that. So <laughs> just can't win one. But uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty decent score from our part. I think we made a lot of little mistakes, which helped it get to 140. Um, but it would be chaseable, I think. But you still have to bat well. I think it, it was not a walk in the park 140 on that wicket. So strategically, knowing that it was a turning pitch, I, I was surprised, and I think quite a few other people were surprised on the sidelines. Tim Patel. Black Spinner was always do well in T20 cricket. He's USA's leading wicket taker in the history of T20 cricket for the country. He only bowled one over coming on in the 16th over. Did that surprise you at all? It didn't because uh, when uh, when Roy Silva started bowling, he bowled well. He bowled good cutters into the wickets, and I, I think he probably took some of his over. So uh, I think um, I think just the game was a matter of a few boundaries, and 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 the way Tim Hill bowls, they could go either way. So I think it was a risk, but. Don't really know what their plans were, but uh, I know uh, when Roy came on in, in, the, in the middle there, he bowled quite well with the cutters. Those was quite tough to play, so I'm not sure. I don't know which. Yeah. What are you going to remember most about tonight? I think uh, this is a really good win for us, uh, um, and this is a really good game. Uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the last ball six, and obviously Skipper will enjoy the win, and of course, uh, He's taking three wickets each in every game, so he'll enjoy it for sure. Yeah, so six, six was amazing. Yeah. Dylan's catch at the boundary here. A few good things going around, but uh, I think winning, you just win whatever way you win. Exactly. Um, that's the best part. So.